Yeah, this take two. Uh, the brake went out in the wind turbine, so we can't don't have a way to stop it. Um, so it's gonna. It was freewheeling, but we turned it off and turned it back on, and now it's it's generating. Um, if we had turned it off um, when it when it's generating now, it would be it would be um, just going too fast for the machine. Uh, freewheeling so I'm not really sure what's going to happen and it normally wouldn't be generating at a such an angle but it is so that's why I wanted to video it and see <laughs> see what happens
I had a chance to lower the tower when the wind turbine blades weren't spinning and I really regret that now because it it just seems dangerous having the the wind turbine blades spinning while we're we're lowering the tower uh, but it seems to be losing momentum because it's such an awkward angle that it may just go ahead and stop there's some noise I don't know if you can pick it up on video but it sounds like something's clanking <laughs> clanking around inside the the wind turbine and Jake just moved the the video but hopefully it'll steady up in just a second oh. Oh. Well, I thought it was going to stop. That's the sound of it generating, even though it's at such a weird angle. I'm going to move the camera a little bit so you can get a better angle. Yeah. This, this wind turbine was installed less than a year ago um, and since then it was down for nine months and then it's been down twice since then for, for a month um, each time just because uh, trying to get the manufacturer to do anything is, was nearly impossible. He said there's a five year warranty. Um, but when it came time to honoring that warranty, uh, the manufacturer said he didn't have any money. So it was on to us, the owner, to to do something about that. Which uh, makes it really hard. Uh, well, we're
we're going to do now is the turbines uh, pretty much junk uh, worthless uh, if anybody wants to buy it they can but you probably won't be able to use it as a wind turbine because and I'm not for sure if you'll be able to use it as a motor or not but um, but it is a three phase uh, 10 kilowatt or 11 kilowatt um, motor it's a Nord motor uh, they're generally really reliable uh, but this one wasn't for us uh, the brake is most likely completely shot uh, I'll have another video about the the brake and what it looks like now because I imagine that'll be pretty interesting um, see oh yeah the tower uh, the tower the tower is a very very strong stout tower the tower was made with a um, the manufacturer got a lot lot better material than he thought so they engineered the whole design for that thicker material which brought in a lot of new cost um, but also um, is a much stouter tower you probably it's a 10 kilowatt machine but we could probably put a 20 kilowatt machine if we wanted on it and be just fine um, or you'd be ready for for hurricane force winds or or something like which the tower do all this up and down it stayed the same but the it's just the wind turbine that we've had problems with so we're looking at selling the the tower and buying a smaller tower and wind turbine so I'll just pick the camera up for a second and zoom in on, on certain parts so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Okay, this is the electric control box make sure the power that we're sending is going to the to the grid is a make sure the power we're sending to the grid is is ideal power and it's within certain parameters um, this pole here doesn't look to be doing anything but it's real heavy and acts as a counterweight um, for our system okay. on the end um, you see is the attachment for the winch and right there is our electric winch it's being guided back and forth Ooh, there's a little bird um, I don't have ADD um, the the winch is being guided back and forth um, by a little pulley I'll, 